Hey friends, today we are hanging out at SeaWorld San Diego. I'm in town for the San Diego Comic Con and this park is only 10 minutes away so I figured I'd come out and add another theme park visit to my awesome list of theme parks I've visited so far this year. This is number 23 so we have been to 23 different theme parks just in 2022 and I love it. So we're gonna hang out, we're gonna eat some food, ride some rides and just have a beautiful SeaWorld San Diego kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. This is my first time being at SeaWorld San Diego. I've only ever been to the one that's in Orlando, but I'm excited because this is the original SeaWorld park. It opened in 1964, and they have a lot of amazing roller coasters and rides, and I'm just excited for the day. I'm kind of interested in comparing it to the Orlando SeaWorld that I actually live by. I'm very close to that one. And I kind of want to compare them and see which one I like a little bit more. I can tell you this, the entranceway to SeaWorld San Diego is amazing. It's so beautiful. I kind of just like the overall design of it. It looks really, really awesome. And I also want to point out that all of the rides here are different or, or different variations of rides at the other SeaWorld parks. I've never even heard of SeaWorld Emperor, an all new dive coaster. This looks really awesome though. It's got a lot, it's got some barrel rolls, a max speed of 60 miles per hour, 14 stories face down. So we're going to definitely ride as many rides as possible. That Emperor roller coaster is actually California's tallest and fastest floorless coaster. So I think that's going to be pretty exciting. As soon as you walk in, they have a little cleaner fish area where you get to stick your hands in the water and the fish will come up and nibble things off of it. And then they also have a white spotted bamboo shark like tank where you can reach in and pet sharks. Like this is as soon as you walk in, like 10 seconds. Now, we're not going to have a full, full day here at SeaWorld San Diego because later on tonight, we are going to be going to a special movies pop-up event. Like I said, I'm here in town for the San Diego Comic-Con. I'm with Roosevelt, and uh, they have a special movies pop-up event because Roosevelt made shirts for Kevin Smith. Isn't that so awesome? I love Kevin Smith, and uh, I'm going to meet him tonight. I'm so excited for this. He's actually going to be recording his show live and they're kind of taking over like the tin roof so that's why I don't have a full day here at SeaWorld San Diego but we're gonna ride as much as we can and then we're gonna hop over there and I'm gonna bring you guys along with me one of the things I'm excited to see that they have over here and in Orlando is Electric Ocean. That's always a really fun, good time. And I believe that's the new roller coaster right there. So I think we're gonna head in that general direction. And it looks so actually fun. It looks like you actually hang upside down for a long period of time. They also have a Journey to Atlantis ride here, which is probably hands down my favorite SeaWorld ride, other than Mako in Orlando. But the Journey to Atlantis ride here is a little bit different, so I'm very excited to ride that. I feel like SeaWorld Orlando definitely has more roller coasters than over here in San Diego, but I like this park. It reminds me a lot of Busch Gardens, and that's because SeaWorld actually owns Busch Gardens, and they own a lot of theme parks. A lot of times people are visiting theme parks, and they don't even know that they're at a park that SeaWorld owns, so always look that up. You'd be shocked. I think they own like a couple dozen maybe. I said a couple of dozen, it's more accurately 11. They own 11 parks and that includes Busch Gardens, Williamsburg and Tampa, and then any Sesame Place, even in Pennsylvania, and then of course, all the Sea Worlds and Aquatica. So that's a lot. And they are trying, they were trying to buy Cedar Fair, so that would include Dorney Park, uh, King's Dominion and stuff like that. So can you only imagine? Sea World's trying to just take over. I kind of want to do Atlantis first, but I don't want to get soaked. You know what I mean? You're going to get soaking wet, so we're going to wait to do that. And first, we're going to head to the newest one, the Emperor. And look at the little penguin there. Oh, you can see it actually going up. Seems like a steep climb. Now we are gonna be able to film on the rides today because we're gonna be using a GoPro uh, harness strap. But I wanna point out how they kinda just hold you right here for this 14 floor drop. Look at this, wait, it's about to happen. Like they literally just keep you there and it's it's frightening. I can't believe we're about to do this. I'm, I'm excited, but I'm also a little scared. All right, here we go. It's gonna peek over the edge right here. 
And I can't wait to film it too. Look at it. They just hold you there. And then they drop you. Wow. Now it's time to put all of our belongings in the locker, take the hat off. I'm bald and uh, switch over to the GoPro. So the sound's gonna change a little different, but I'm ready to ride. Look at this. <laughs> oh. I'm already excited. <laughs> Beautiful view though. Wow. Oh my lord, okay. We're gonna be dangling off the edge here. Oh lord. Oh my lord. Oh, oh. A lot of fun i have to say but i i think my favorite thing was the view from the top holy moly emperor was amazing and that first drop literally took my breath away i loved it so much but the view the view was a spectacular like i'm sure you guys seen it in the video but i loved it i kind of want to go sailing now now it's time we do Atlantis, and I don't even know if it's called Journey to Atlantis or just Atlantis, but it's funny because this isn't just a water ride. Like you would think this is like one of those typical flume rides. It's a hybrid and it's actually a roller coaster and I cannot wait, it's so fun going through here. Doesn't look like you get that wet, but the birds attack you it seems. Did you get wet? A little bit, a little bit, not too bad. Look at those birds, look at them. All your bags and Here we go. Gates are closing. Here we go. Yes, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> I hope it'll get with that. I don't hope it'll get wet. I see uh like they're just pouring water on ya. Look at it. Oh boy. San Diego is so beautiful, though, I have to say. We got this. part happens right here oh a little soaked we are <laughs> oh that's so good Atlantis but the ride's not over guys the ride is not over oh. <laughs> oh here we go my favorite part Oh my lord, what? Is this an elevator? 
What the heck? What? <laughs> I'm not kidding, I'm, I'm a little terrified right now. Uh, I don't know what to expect. Right there it's not the big drop that gets you wet oh my lord that was good though I am officially now soaked but that's okay I mean it's all about having fun anyway and I love that ride if I was to compare it to the one in Orlando I gotta give it to Orlando. I love the dark ride aspect of it. But the elevator in here, I can't know, I, I don't know if you can tell on video or not. It doesn't just take you up, it goes like this, it teeters. So it's very, 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 very scary. And I love that ride. I mean, I just love the concept of the ride itself. Now I think I'm gonna grab something to eat and then maybe ride another ride, the electric eel. And uh, that one's really fun looking too. Here is a look at the map. We're right here actually. And there's the roller coaster we just rode. The electric eels over there. They have the penguin encounter. And I'm not too sure. Oh yeah, there's Sesame Street uh, like play place right here. But I want to find something to eat before we leave this area. They do have Manta over here, which is another ride that's kind of like in SeaWorld Orlando. So I'm not sure if we'll have time to get to that. Or the Shipwreck Reef Cafe, or not the cafe, the uh, which one called Shipwreck Rapids. Only because I know I'm gonna get soaked. Like way worse. I made my way over near the Sky Tower. Now this is an additional price to ride. It's $6, but it does take you all the way up. So you can kind of get a good overview of the park. I think we can actually ride it. But first, I want to get something to eat. And I see Big Bird's Bistro. I wouldn't mind trying some Big Bird's Bistro. Sounds very really fancy in there. So I think that's where we're going to grab something to eat, then the Sky Tower. Oh wait, I hope Big Bird's Bistro doesn't only serve funnel cakes and soft serve. That's not what I was thinking when I, you know, thought of Bistro. They have to have something else. I mean, they got it, right? I think Big Bird pulled a big one on us because that's all they have is funnel cakes and soft serve ice cream. Oh, and also White Claws. So you can get White Claws and funnel cakes, which honestly doesn't sound that bad. I'm not, I'm not knocking that at all, but I just wanted something a little bit more savory. So we'll have to find somewhere else. Well, if we can't get anything from Big Bird's Bistro, I guess we'll have some Manta pizza. Hot and fast, Manta pizza. I like it. I'm gonna be honest, if we were gonna judge this pizza on looks alone, I don't think we're off to a good start, but you can't do that. You can't judge it on looks alone. Even though people do eat with their eyes first, we're gonna have to try it before we say whether or not it is good or not. We don't wanna hurt the Manta's feelings. But, if you just take a look at it, I'm not, I, you know, I don't know. It's definitely very cheesy at least. That's a good sign. So we're gonna try it. It looks like one of those funny shoes that point up. <laughs> you know what I mean? The cheese kind of flopped off there, but here we go. Good fold, good, good crust, and actually good undercarriage, so. <laughs> hey. Well, I'm gonna say it, it is not the worst pizza I've ever had. It's way better than 7-Eleven pizza. The only thing is it costs $9.99 for the pizza slice, but that's theme parks. But a little good snack, and at least it didn't let me down like Big Bird. Now that the pizza business is out of the way, it's time to go for a ride on the Sky Tower. We're going all the way up. Here we go. Ooh, looks like we got comfy seats, though. I'm gonna go right over here. Looks very nice. Air conditioning. 
I'm already a big fan of this because of the AC in here, the air conditioning site. Yeah, it does really, really good. <laughs> Come fly with me. For your safety, we ask that you please remain seated throughout the entire ride. Thank you and enjoy your view. What's that Skyliner over there? The buckets? Is that here at SeaWorld? Yeah, that's Skyride. Oh, I want to go do the Skyride. That looks fantastic. Is that what you're doing next? There's like a Skyride uh, that takes you right over the water, and I really want to do that. I think we'll go do that next. I really want to do the other one though, but yeah, this one looks this one looks a lot more funner for me. You can kind of see it right there. You see the little buckets over the water. That looks so fun. Now we're heading back down. This was actually really, really nice, and I like the music. It kind of started off with the beginning intro of Come Fly With Me, and uh, I liked it. And plus now, I didn't even know they had one of those sky bucket rides, and it goes over the water, so I'm really excited for that. I don't think we're gonna have time to ride Manta, but it is different from the other Manta. I mean, this might be the first Manta. I don't know which one came first. This one isn't laying down though. You actually are sitting upright and there's no big drops or anything like that. I think it's a launch coaster. Still looks very cool though. We'll see if we can catch one coming by. But I haven't seen anything happen, so it might actually be closed. Yeah, sadly, I don't even think Manta is running. So I really wanted to show you what it was like. But uh, we'll keep our eye out. Now I just want to make it to the sky buckets. I don't even know if that's the name. That's just what I would call it. It's like a gondola. You know what I mean? Here it is. The Bayside Sky Ride. I have a feeling this actually might be my favorite ride in the park. I love things like this. I love scenic views. And from what I saw up there, this is going to be a beaut. It's going to be a beaut, Clark. Oh, it cost an extra $6, though. I don't mind paying the $6 though because it does go to uh, contributing to help uh, sick and uh, injured animals. But after this, we're gonna do one more roller coaster, the Electric Eel, which that one seems like a lot of fun and I think our time might be up for the day. But I'm glad that we're getting this done though because I was really excited about it when I saw it. All right, here we go. We're up next, I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you. Whoop. I gotta sit in the middle. I gotta center her. Yeah, there we go. Wow. Oh my lord. It is amazing up here. <laughs> I am so happy. This is just absolutely fantastic. I love it. What a view. Look at the boats. I want to go boating. This is without question my favorite ride at SeaWorld San Diego. 100%. It's so beautiful. Wow. Now we're coming down to turn around and then we come back the same way. This part's always the scariest. That was scary. Here we go. 
go again. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Looks like some people having a good time down there in a boat. Happy birthday! Congratulations! I don't think they heard me. Here's a look at Bayside Stadium right there. Ooh! Oh boy, we're coming to an end here. I don't want it to end. I would do this over and over again, honestly. It is such a peaceful ride. Like, I'm very happy. <laughs> this is like zen moment for me. Just... Uh... Until it's time for the landing, and then I get all tensed up. But we're coming in hot. Look at the way he's standing there. He doesn't get out of the way. What if that came right at you so fast? Oh, that was really, really fun. I loved it so much. Now, let's see if we can get one more ride in over to the electric eel. The electric eel sounds like a dance move. And you got the music. I really wish I was sticking around for Electric Ocean. I would love to see the fireworks. They've got to be pretty amazing. And also, I love walking through these little tunnels here. I wish the lights were on for these. Everything at night during Electric Ocean is just like, pow, bang, right in the kisser. Honestly, I wasn't able to wear my hat on any of these rides because they all basically go upside down. So I'm glad I brought the GoPro with me down to San Diego. All right, it's time to do the electric eel. And look at this, it basically turns you upside down. <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to switch to the uh, GoPro, definitely. I'm glad we got a quick queue because it's a 75 minute wait. 75 minutes. Three, we two, are up next. One, zero, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative three. It's still pretty amazing how fast you come in and out here. Because it's a boomerang coaster. Look at that. Crazy, right? And it's only gonna happen again. Now sit back with your back against the seat and head against the headrest. Where did you go? Oh! They didn't give us a warning. Oh boy. We're going backwards. <laughs> oh no. We're coming in hot. Oh my lord. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 That was too good. <laughs> the electric eel was probably the most thrilling ride in the whole entire park. I loved it. And I'm not the biggest fan of like boomerang coasters, but that was so, so fun. And it kind of just reminds me of an electric eel too. I don't want to dance. But now our time is coming to an end here at SeaWorld San Diego. I definitely want to come back soon. I really do like it here. It is a very fun park. And I'm glad that I got to say I finally came and, you know, went to this park. I'm glad I got to add it to my list. And I would definitely do the tentacle twirls because that just seems fun. All right, our time has come to an end here at San Diego SeaWorld. It's time to make our back over to the Gaslight District and uh, change over into our uh, movie shirt because we're going to go meet Kevin Smith. We're going to go hang out. I'm so excited for this. Now it's time to make our way over to the movies pop-up and uh, I got to switch out my shirt. I got to put on one of the special ones, especially if we're going to be meeting Kevin Smith. I want to be wearing one of those shirts. Look at how crazy this is though. This is all the gas line corridor right here. Wow, it is so crowded down here. Holy moly, we've got eagles. <laughs> we've got mad hatters. We've got killer clowns. 
and we have made it. Look at this, I switched over to my Movies Roosevelt, which I'm gonna cherish this shirt forever. I love it, even though I look like I'm about to go work in a fast food restaurant, it's just perfect. And here is the event. You got uh, Silent Bob there, Jay, I'm eating it. Some quick stop groceries and then movies. And it's actually at a tin roof, so it's really cool. And they basically just took it over and it's gonna turn into like a fast food restaurant, but with drinks and, you know, lots of awesome things. Here is a look at some of the menus. We have the Moon Mains right here, a cow tipper burger, uh, <laughs> egg movie muffin. Hater tots, onion rings to rule them all, and I'm more excited for the drinks and just like, like I said, kind of hanging out with Kevin Smith. So we're gonna head in. I mean, this is the stuff. Now this event is a private event and it's shut down to the public and only people that kind of have like a reservation. And I want to give you guys a quick tour. It's actually really amazing in here. This is probably where like Kevin Smith is actually going to be hanging out. I don't know if uh, Jay's going to be with them. And then here's all the different merchandise. Look at this back here. And here is all of the amazing merchandise. Here's the Roosevelt that I'm wearing right here. I had to go with this one, but I did want to get that one. And they also have some really awesome spirit jerseys too. I'm all about the spirit jerseys. You guys know that. So it's really actually really amazing. And of course, we've got our own Chronic Con beer. Look at that. It looks like they cleared everyone out that's not here for the private event. And uh, we've got this whole entire area up here, kind of like the VIP area. And it's so nice. I like all these lights, too. This is going to be so much fun. I am so excited to see what's to come of the night. Now it's time to eat. I'm so excited. I feel like I'm like a teenager on his lunch break. Like, cause I'm in a, a uniform, you know what I mean? But uh, here's my uh, movie. I got the tater tots and I got the cow tipper burger. Excellent, look at this, gotta get it all out. First things first, the cow tipper. Oh, that's way better than the burger at Comic Con. And now for the tater tots, I love it. This is like so awesome. Oh, the tater tots are fire. So good. Honestly, I have to say, all the food was actually really good. It's like, you know, fast food food, but in a nightclub. So, I really did like it. I love my burger, actually. They have a potato bun on it. I don't know if that's how all of the, the movies pop-ups are, but I would get it again. I think we are done here today. I had to go back to my room to close out the video because I couldn't close it out at the venue because it was very loud and the music because 
everybody was partying up and it was amazing and having a great time. The band that came on after Kevin Smith, uh, the lead singer, you guys might recognize him. That is Thomas Ian Nicholas. And he played in Rookie of the Year. Rookie of the Year and also American Pie. He was in all the American Pies. And also he was, he played Walt Disney in Walt Before Mickey. How cool is that? And it was so awesome. We got to hang out in the VIP area. I got to meet Kevin Smith. Got to meet a lot of people that I've watched in the movies and it was fantastic like everybody was super chilled i didn't want to film anything because you gotta you gotta read the room you know what i mean you read the room and i didn't want to be that guy so i was just like hey i just wanted to socialize and it was great but what a day what a day sea world san diego movies this has been amazing this has been a fantastic trip down to San Diego Comic Con and I love it. Tonight's my last night. I have to head back. I wish I had time to go to Disney though, but I can't. You know what I mean? I, I have to get back to see my Gracie girl, but I will be back. I will be back for D23. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. My glasses are fogged up. Bye!